Good evening. It's big, it's colourful and celebratory. London is gearing up for this weekend's Pride Parade when thousands will take to the streets of the capital. And this year's theme marks half a century of activism in gay rights. But there is a darker side, with prejudice still a problem. One Londoner who had his back broken in a homophobic attack at last year's festival has been speaking to Thomas McGill. Tommy Barwick and his family, all in a party mood as they head to Pride in London last year. But that spirit didn't last. Tommy was physically and verbally attacked with homophobic abuse later that evening in Soho. I just felt like a crack in the back, like, like, like a kick. Um, and I, I went down on the floor. It was really quick and they're still saying stuff. And then uh, they, again on the back, and they took my phone and run. And it was over really quickly. A year on, still in a back brace and on crutches, Tommy says his life has been changed forever. It's just left me, you know, broken. Like, for a two-second attack, it's ruined my life, really. Really, completely ruined it. There were over 2,600 homophobic incidents reported in the last year. That's an increase of almost 15% on the previous 12 months. But perhaps more worrying, the figures show a sharp rise in July when there were 296 attacks. And that's during the month when LGBT visibility is at its highest in the capital. Organisers of this weekend's Pride in London March say they're working with police to ensure people feel safe, but say everyone needs to remain alert. Pride season, as we call it. Um, does bring the, um, the vermin out of the, um, uh, of the woodwork, as it were. Um, but they were always there. Uh, and actually what we're just seeing is the reality of the situation in this country. And, and that is what we need to stand against, and that's what we need to address. So why the rise in reported homophobic incidents? Well, the Met say there's a number of reasons victims now feel more confident about coming forward. People are just generally more aware of what it means to have hate crime. Um, also, the police, I would say, are certainly more aware in their training of what constitutes hate crime and how to deal and investigate with that effectively. Certainly since the um, Brexit, the EU referendum back in 2016, we have seen an increase um, in, in hate crime uh, incidents that have been brought to our attention. For now, that's little comfort for Tommy, whose attackers have never been caught. You know, they're getting on with their lives, I presume so, and they've just ruined mine, and not just mine, my daughter's as well, you know, because she has a broken daddy, yeah. Thomas McGill, BBC London News.